Hey everyone, welcome back to Third Day Research. It's been a little while since I did my last posting. Um, yeah, I just had to uh, try a little experiment tonight. Um, I had one of these little uh, 5 volt uh, uh, solar panels and I just had to do a little solar experiment tonight. Uh, it, uh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, bottom right hand corner. Also, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. I have all the links in the description for my Patreon and everything. And my PayPal donate and all that. So, yeah. So, I just had to do a little solar experiment. And uh, my wife went to the dollar store. And she picked up one of these little LED emergency light. And it turns out, this little thing can put out 900 lumens of light power. And it takes three triple-a battery so it takes four and a half volts to run it it's one of those safety lights you know the lights go out and you can use this to see around the room but these lights are extremely bright so i decided to do a little experiment so this solar panel is five volts it only puts out about uh 50 milliamps i believe of current so yeah uh what i did was well i'll turn it on and you'll see how bright it is it's like blinding so I put it on the solar panel and about th three to five minutes later this capacitor bank is charging up and the the light is actually uh, um, glowing at full brightness so this in a way is actually an over unity device and you know it's a because of the fact like these things these lights here I don't know if you've played with these things before but uh, they last forever. Like these batteries, I've had a couple of these things and the batteries last forever. Like it takes so little power to run these LED lights. And now they're getting so good and they're so bright now that you can actually get uh, a pretty cool effect by just putting, you know, an LED light like this and put it on the solar panel. And within about five minutes, you've got a charged up solar bank. Now, after it's fully charged, you know, five, ten minutes of charge time, shut it off. This thing will probably last you a few months and you'll have a constant source of power. So from what I can see here for the amount of voltage and how fast it takes to charge this up, it's over unity because these batteries will last months. Like they, they'll last a very, very, very long time. So I could do an experiment with this. Because if I get it charged up, I know this light will run for at least 24 hours, sometimes longer. So, 5 minutes versus 24 hours runtime with that light. And that light's rated at tw uh, 12 volts. And it's running, like, perfectly bright now. You can see it. And, yeah. So, something to, you know, food for thought. Uh, some ideas. This is something totally different that I've been working on. But I decided to try it out. So basically what I did, just to kind of show you the circuit. I'll shut this off. It's so bright. It's blinding. So it's a 5 uh, five volt, uh, 50 milliamp uh, solar panel. On the positive end, I hooked up a diode. So it's going in this direction towards the capacitor bank. So the power could only go in this direction. As long as you do that, you you got no problems whatsoever. And look... Within five minutes, it started, you know, charging it up to the point where it's actually functioning. So, yeah, pretty amazing uh, little device. So, you could do some experiments but just by using a solar panel to run a pulse motor. You know, a small powered one. You make those small ones like the lid motor does. And uh, charge up your capacitor bank using a high lumens... Um, uh, uh, LED array. This we bought at the freaking dollar store. It was maybe like five bucks. And, you know, takes four and a half volts, uh, three AAA batteries. Put it on your solar panel, charge a bank up, and you can have a, a pulse motor run for 24 hours. So, the amount of power that this thing will give off probably I don't know how many hours I'll have to actually test how long this thing will run before the batteries die but it's sure producing a lot more power than 
actually it takes to actually run this thing. So yeah, that could be over Unity right there. You know, it's in plain sight. You just gotta know what components to use. But you know, the technology of these lights are getting so much better. They're a lot more efficient and they take next to no power to run the damn thing. So there you go. Now you got a capacitor bank. I'm just gonna leave it on for a few more minutes and I'm gonna do a, a voltage test on it. So many volts I got in. The last time I checked it was over three volts. And that just like took basically less than five minutes of uh, charge time. So it's, it actually is charging at a decent rate. It's got a decent amount of current going through it. So yeah, anyways, uh, I figure I'd just kind of shoot that out there. You can experiment with it. Super easy to hook up. You can go to your local science shop, pick up a five volt uh, um, solar uh, solar panel, and hook it up to a capacitor bank. Put a diode on it. Very small diode in this direction. And uh, yeah, you yeah, have free energy right there. So yeah, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe bottom right hand corner, and we'll see everybody soon.